We present a novel method of real-time motion controller construction based on active learning. Here we show a typical interaction with the system beginning partway through a session. The user is presented with sample animations of the controller and can select the unsatisfactory ones for improvement. The system will try to automatically improve that point. If the improved animation is not acceptable, the user chooses to add a new sample, as is the case here. The task to perform is then visualized for the user. The user can re-perform the task if desired. Once the task is complete, the system identifies the desired portion of the recorded motion and cluster in which the captured motion belongs. The user can review this process. At this point, the new sample is incorporated into the model and the process repeats by active learning presenting a new set of suboptimal animation samples. In this example, the user can control three continuous parameters of locomotion, the length of the step, the speed, and turn angle of a walk cycle. Here are all the motions for the one cluster in this example. There are a total of 11 samples. The capture time was roughly half an hour. In this example, the user can control the turning angle of the character as well as introduce projectiles for the character to dodge. The height, incoming angle, and distance in front of the character can be varied. The user can continuously vary the turn angle of the walk. The character will also try to dodge incoming projectiles that the user can launch while at the same time trying to maintain the desired turning angle. The resulting dodging motion varies based on the three parameters of the projectile as well as the current locomotion state of the character. Because a given number of samples can only cover the controller space up to some level of accuracy, there will be areas in the control space where motions try but do not succeed in the controller task. Here are all motions for some of the 10 clusters in this example. There are a total of 30 samples. The capture time was roughly one hour. In this example, the user can throw a ball for the character to catch. The user can vary the two-dimensional incoming location of the ball and its speed. The controller determines the appropriate motion that catches any thrown ball, regardless of the current state and movement of the character. As in the dodging example, with a limited set of samples, the controller tries to cover the space as well as it can, but fails in some less likely instances. Here are all motions for some of the 12 clusters in this example. There are a total of 33 samples. The total capture time was roughly one hour. For comparison, we now show motion from several catching controllers whose samples were manually selected. These controllers all have more samples and worse performance than the active learning controller. Also compare the realism of motion. 